In this video, we're going to demonstrate setting up your new Dryland LPP4513 foiling system. Your new foiling system will come in two separate boxes, one containing the foiling machine, the second containing the rewinding machine. First step is to remove the top mandle bar. This will give you easier access when installing your foil rewinder bar. You can see here on your foil rewinder that the bracket has three corresponding holes that will align with three holes on the non-operator side. Use the screws provided in the rewinder box to attach this. After you've installed the foil rewinder motor, you move to the operator side of the machine and you'll install the second bracket. You'll notice on this bracket you'll see the same three holes which line up with the same three corresponding holes on the operator side of the machine. You can see that you have successfully now installed your rewinder motor and the corresponding rewinder motor bracket. The next step is to replace the top mandrel bar, ensuring that the three inch mandrel adjustments are centered and secured. Then you will grab your foil, making sure that the foil is coming off the back of the roll. After you've successfully installed the foil, the next step is to place the foil rewinder mandrel. You'll notice that the pointed edge should face the foil. Now you'll place your empty core on the mandrel. Place the mandrel in the bar, pushing forward the lock bracket to secure the mandrel. After successfully installing the empty rewinder core, the next step is to thread the foil. First thing you will do in threading the foil is open the heated rollers and take your threading card and place it through the back rollers of the machine. leaving approximately two inches so that your foil can be taped to the threading card. You will then run the foil underneath the two bars seen here. One's rotating, the second is stationary. It will tape the foil to the threading card. and then you will pull the foil to the back of the machine. You will continue pulling the threading card through the back of the machine, ensuring that the foil is all the way through the back rollers. And in order to do this, you're going to want to give your foil some slack. continuing to pull it until there's approximately 18 inches of foil outside of the back side of the machine. Now that you've removed the foil from the threading card, you can take that tape and pull the foil up over the top roller and use that tape to secure the foil 
to the empty core. The next step will be to turn on your machine. After you have successfully attached your roll of foil to the empty core, the next thing you will do is place the heated laminated rollers to the tightest position. You will then turn your rewinding bar into the forward position and then you would turn the motor on the actual machine into the forward position. What you want to do next is allow the foil to rewind onto the empty core at least two to three rotations to secure the foil. Now if you notice this bar begin to adjust you want to reduce the tension and that will get rid of any of those issues. And now that you have two to three rotations onto the bar, we will shut off the machine, shut off the rewinder motor. After you have allowed the foil to rewind three times on the empty core, the last step is to install your feed tray. You can see here this corresponding groove will land on these notches here on the machine, securing it in place, and now you're ready to foil.